Hey everyone, Connor here with IncreaseRSS.com. In this tutorial, we'll be installing our own WordPress website on our own server. Now, if you haven't visited our website yet, make sure you go to it and see all the posts that coincide with this tutorial series. The more information you get about the subject, the more clear everything we talk about is going to be. Alright, in this series, we'll be creating a movie review website from start to finish. As mentioned in the last tutorial, it is assumed that you have downloaded the necessary files and have also purchased some web hosting space. Now, for this tutorial, we'll be using the web host Bluehost.com. If you have subscribed to another host, don't worry, as the same concepts apply to almost any cPanel. So, before we get into the nitty-gritty installation process, let's first see if our cPanel has a script installation app already installed. If it does, you can install WordPress within a few clicks, and you won't have to watch the rest of this technical tutorial. I'll log into my host cPanel, at Bluehost, and sure enough, there's a script app available. It's called Simple Scripts. Wait till it loads. I'll scroll down, find the app that I want to install. There it is, WordPress. I'll click on WordPress, click Install, and then I'm going to choose a directory where we'll install everything. reviews.creatingfilm.com Now, when we hit complete, we'll allow the script program to create the database and upload everything for me. It's that easy. Well, at least for those of us who have this method available. If you do have this sort of tool available, I would recommend using it and remove all chances for error. So, now let's get into how to install this manually, the old-fashioned way back in the day, how we could install this baby without any script apps. We'll be creating our WordPress site at reviews.creatingfilm.com. I set up this domain specifically for this tutorial series. When you purchase your hosting package, you should have been given a free domain name registration. The first step is to set up our FTP account that gives us access to our server. To do this, on your cPanel, find a tab that says something along the lines of FTP accounts. There's an icon right here for that. We'll click on it. And now we can put in some information. What is our login going to be? This is kind of the username, or the name of the user who will be accessing the server. We'll call this reviews at envisageworks.com. For the password, for sake of the tutorial, we'll do something simple reviews1234 and again reviews1234 the directory should be generated manually to do this put in your home directory for this website we're gonna put in reviews because that's where the domain name points to now we'll click on create FTP account and we're all ready to go so now let's connect I'll open up FileZilla and log in with the credentials we just set up. Our server information is where we want the program to find our files. Usually this will be ftp.yourdomainname.com. In my case it's ftp.creatingfilm.com because that's where we set up the server. In the username I'll enter in the username that we established reviews at envisageworks.com and for the password same thing. The password we established was reviews1234. Now we'll hit quick connect. Instantly you'll see a bunch of files and folders come up. This is your server, the root of your website. When users go here they'll see these files first. We need to drag WordPress into our server. So I'll open up WordPress in Explorer, select all of the files, and drag them right on top of FileZilla and let go of the mouse. Instantly, you'll see FileZilla work a million miles per hour to upload all of these files. You can see its status in the bottom screen right here. 
OK, so all of our files are uploaded. The next thing we are going to do is set up our database. But first, what is a database? Well, without getting into a lengthy explanation, let's just say that it's a place that stores data for you. A database is pretty much a table where entries can be stored and accessed. Most databases are encrypted, so unlike a server, which anyone can have access to, a database is both secure and simple. Again, these instructions may vary slightly depending on what server you have. But the same basic concepts apply. Most hosting companies use MySQL, which is what we'll use for WordPress. Almost all major companies have this tool available. It's called MySQL Database Wizard. So I'm back in the cPanel here. We'll scroll down and we'll find this wizard. Here, we'll set up the database. If these steps are so different that you can't follow along, visit the facts section in your hosting provider and search how to install a database. But back to Bluehost. First, we're going to give our database a name. We'll call this database reviews. So our name is going to be invisag1 underscore reviews and click on next step. Next, we'll create a way that the server can access this database. In order to make this secure, we need a username and password. Our username is going to be in visig one slash reviews, excuse me, underscore reviews, and our password is going to be reviews1234. Again, reviews1234, and hit create user. And there we have it. Our database is set up. Now let's add some permissions. We want this user to pretty much do everything. Because this user is going to be WordPress, we know that this is secure. So let's add all the privileges and click Next Step. Perfect! Our database is created. We can now start adding tables and connect our server to this database.